First name is Tracy, T R E C Y. Last name Mix, M I X. I'm with the Alpha Company, 33rd BSTB, the engineers, combat engineers. Um, just getting with everybody else here and learning how to, I mean, just seeing everything everybody's done, learning more new techniques and better ways to shoot. And uh, it's basically a great training environment. You got some of the best shooters here from all over the country. I mean, and you all get together, you learn different techniques, you learn how to shoot, you always improve your skills, and you're always trying to teach the new ones that have come here that have never been here before. So it's basically a big training experience. It, it improves the marksmanship skills uh, of the average soldier immensely because without coming here and learning all these different techniques that we've learned over the years, we would never know how to efficiently uh, do this in real combat because here we learn all those techniques that actually would work versus the ones just on the rest range or the regular quality you would never experience, never. So it's combination of just good marksmanship, putting it all flow together for what would actually work in combat experience. So, and actually being a great marksman because there's the best in the world here. So, I want to bring back good combat training. I mean, real good marksmanship that would go to a combat environment of what I've learned. Uh, different positions from prone to kneeling to sitting to uh, you know standing. I mean, everything we've learned that would actually roll over into a combat environment with rifle and pistol. Be tenacious, never, never give up. Um, as far as marksmanship goes, and, uh, I mean, the biggest thing I would say is, is combat is there's two things that win wars, and that's leadership and uh, marksmanship. Without them, we got nothing. I mean, and then you know the core, the core, the core of what we're doing here is marksmanship, and we have to we have to get back to that because that is that is crucial for every soldier. Every soldier carries a weapon, multiple weapons. So that's what we mean to maintain a high level of marksmanship and and pass it on to the next generations. They make him carry that thing, Jeff. <laughs> With multiple targets, pistol and rifle, we have to change in between, and I think 720, 730. So this is definitely doable. We started thinking about that a little bit. I'm Sergeant First Class Marshawn, uh, Micah Marshawn, originally from Louisiana. I was recruited by the MTC. I'm a former competitive shooter for uh, almost two decades, uh, double distinguished shooter, and most of what I do, I'm the QA here now. I run the instructors, make sure they get their stuff straight. Uh, started off as a competitive shooter, then an instructor, and now I'm a full-time staff member here at the MTC. You get a pretty wide variety of what comes in here. You have guys from professional shooters all the way down to first-time arrivals. Um, you'll have people who are intimately familiar with these weapon systems and you have people show up that they were just told to show up the day before and we have to do a lot of SAFs, a lot of safety stuff with those. 
and you have some that a lot of the competitors, a lot of the older competitors, what I like about this program is the older competitors will always help the new competitors. It, it's very rare that you won't see the more experienced shooters not help the younger shooters. There's a lot of camaraderie here and there's definitely a, a, a lot of tra cross training that goes on from, from state to state. Uh, a lot of these older experienced guys are always helping out the, the newer one, getting rounds on target. Uh, most of these older shooters that, I've, that I compete with, I've, I've been to combat with. Um, taking out the enemy faster is sometimes the best form of first aid you can, you can administer to somebody. So um, we've done battalion qualifications back home where we've taken entire competitive teams to run those ranges and we'll end up with 100% uh, qualification in one day for an entire battalion because you have experienced competitive shooters who do this because they enjoy it and they, they love it and you'll see a much more success rate on the, the qual ranges and then definitely in the combat theaters you'll see you'll see a lot more success as far as uh, fewer rounds down range but more rounds on target. I started shooting here when I was 19 years old from Louisiana and originally I was not a shooter. It was my first, I was one of those first timers that hey you're going to the Wilson matches. Uh, ended up performing very well my first year out um, and from then on I, I fell in love with it. We get very limited trigger time as, as guard soldiers. Uh, this program increases our efficiency on the weapon systems so that way the limited time we do have it's more effective and it's more useful. So if you have trained marksmen out there helping the, the newer soldiers and, and out in the units, um, you get more bang for the buck with the limited time and resources we do have. If it wasn't for this program, I'd have been six years and out. No doubt in my mind. I'd have did six years, did my contract, and I'd have left. This program kept me in the guard. Um, I just got my 20 year letter in June and I don't plan on getting out. As long as this program exists, I'm here. Once this program goes away, I'm ETS and I'm kicking rocks. G-L-E-N-N, -N, Worley, W-O-R-L-E-Y. Well, I'm from the state of Wyoming and I'm with the Recruiting and Retention Battalion. I'm down here shooting on the Alpha Team for Wyoming. It's a great experience. It allows me to refresh my natural soldier skills and marksmanship skills so I can take it back to my state and use it as a recruiting tool with new recruits to help get more people into the shooting program. It takes a lot of time with your weapon and the ability to be able to adjust on the fly. So whether it's windage or elevation change, you need to be able to utilize your skills as a marksman that you learn from the basic fundamentals and to continue and grow with those. The payoff for me and the National Guard is that we get more new shooters in the more we send down here. Everybody talks about it, so word of mouth continues to get more people into the shooting program and enhances everyone's skills. Everybody needs to come out and try it. it. Makes you a better person and allows you to help recruit for the force, the National Guard, and for the state. Two, three. Roger. Three. One. Two. Trace. Good luck. 
Joseph, J O S E P H, Miller, M I L L E R, 232 H H C, Illinois. I am a wheeled vehicle mechanic. It was awesome. <laughs> it was a really good training. I got to put rounds down range, which is always always a good thing. Um, it was. I like to shoot and move. Uh, it's a, it's good training. Putting rounds down range is is the the number one thing you have to do. To be proficient. Um, you, there's no substitution for the real thing, so you have to get out there and practice. Uh, you have to have a good game plan. You have to know your course before you run through it. Um, study it up and know what's going on. That's why I enjoy shooting because it clears my head. The only thing I think about is where my rounds are going to go. What needs to be done next? You get to come here and actually do something that you enjoy. You know, just have it's a great time. That's a, but it it's a great payoff. It feels good. Once it starts, uh, when your adrenaline starts pumping and you start running around and everybody's yelling and it gets confusing, but but it's fun. The event it's kind of a battle simulation. Uh, you start and from the word start, you're moving or shooting the whole time. Uh, run up, engage your targets with the with the pistol. Um, run out with your pistol, holster it. Engage targets with your rifle. Run out with the rifle. Uh, engage targets with the shotgun and then run down to the next range and engage targets with the pistol uh, Yeah, engage targets with the pistol a lot of it's a lot of fast-paced shooting It's realistic. It's more realistic training than sitting there shooting at pop-up targets uh, you, you understand how your mind you don't understand how your mind Takes the stress until you're actually put into sort of a situation like that now I've plan on coming back as much as I can. Uh, I'd come back here for anything they'd let me come back here for. <laughs>
Joey, you nailed that one. Go clear.